hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is of course mink's kinks and this of course is another vlog i mean you know what time it is so as you guys can see i have had some improvements with my apartment so i figured i'd come and show you guys my living room real quick i think that i'm gonna just end up doing like a furnished apartment tour during one of my like vlogs because i just don't really feel like i need a whole video on that if you know what i'm saying but yeah so i got my wall art put up i know i talked about that in my last vlog um i did just finish putting up these little leaves and light situation and y'all i am only seven subscribers away from hitting a thousand so i think that this is just gonna be my thousand vlog um so like what i plan to do i did order a bag <laughs> i did yeah and then i plan to spoil myself um that day when it happens so yeah let's get into it so don't mind the rest of my crusty living room i just folded clothes um but this right now is what the wall art is looking like i still have to figure out what i'm gonna do with all of these cords and stuff because mm, i'm not here for that but this is what my living room art looks like and i did put it up by myself so it, it's a little you know crooked on this side but you know it's like good enough like you're it's good enough so we have my sis over here with the braids um this is a wine glass and this this is my curly sis so here's what they look like um closer up and then over here this is the like vine light situation and it's right over my bookcase i need to get those extra leaves up and then move these bags of course um <laughs> child i'm still unpacking and that has been there since i moved in so um but this is really really cute y'all know i love me a good book and i think this looks so cute with the books so i filmed a tiktok there so um books that i'm reading in 2022 and then here's me crusty per usual i did buy a puzzle i saw my sis urban feb curl she bought a puzzle and i never finished the puzzle by myself so i was like girl let me go ahead and get into it and then the last thing i'm gonna show you guys right now is just my shelf because i have been finishing so many freaking products so um the top of my shelf has like my wet line my powders herbs oils all of that stuff is up there um and then we get into the actual products so this is all my products as y'all see there's a little hole right here oh my goodness we let us see that i moved some products so that we would have a less of a hole right here so i moved that there um this bin is the products that i'm currently or in the future super close future going to be using um more stash more more products and then i do have stuff in my closet but y'all i swear everything in this little bin is getting used up so if you are not cut up on my empties go ahead and check that out but y'all as you guys can see i just literally have stuff everywhere so it is going to be a cleaning day and i'm actually trying to do a little tiktok of that but if you do want to see like a sunday reset routine definitely let me know down below because i love watching those videos so if you guys want that comment it down below but yeah that's kind of all that i'm doing today nothing nothing exciting nothing interesting i'm about to go finish up editing my video for tomorrow i just did a face mask this morning and steamed and everything so yeah i just been doing really good it's only like one o'clock and i'm feeling very productive you know what i'm saying my hair is done under here i know y'all be tired of seeing me with this bonnet on in every vlog because when i tell y'all i'm in the house I be in the house like I don't want I don't want no pox I don't want no vid I don't want none of that I don't want mm -mm, keep that over there so I be at home and when I'm at home my scarf is on nine times out of ten so yeah y'all um that's all I'm doing for today but like I said um I think this is gonna be my thousand subscriber vlog and i'll probably insert the giveaway in here at some point too but yes as for today that's all that's going on um yeah i'll see y'all when something juicy is going on. all right y'all so i figured i could come back and i did finish the book that i'm reading it is called the summer without men by siri um last name i can't pronounce pronounce yet so here's what the cover looks like and the author's name and everything so i figured i would come on here and just tell you guys about the book and since i finished it and everything i really hope that y'all can't hear my air conditioning in the back but baby it is hot and um i'm not finna melt okay so the book is called the summer without men it's a pretty short book but it took me actually a hot little minute to read it so yeah it's 182 pages so i'm gonna get y'all to just real quick 
so basically the book is about a woman named mia she's middle aged she's been married to her husband boris for 30 something years and then suddenly boris is like yeah i need a pause and that's it's called a pause they talk about that throughout the book um so the pause he meets somebody that he works with he's like a scientist so he's working in a lab i don't know if she was a lab assistant or what but they refer to the girl as the pause Mm -hmm. yeah real petty and i really love that but um yeah so boris asks for a pause mia loses it as you know she should she's been married to this man for 30 some years they have a kid they've lived together they've loved each other for all of this time grew up with each other um there was a suicide in the family that brought them closer so it was very sudden for mia but mia goes into a whole mental breakdown baby i mean she had to get checked into a mental hospital yeah so after that whole situation happens mia moves back to um, the town where her mother lives so she gets to know a lot of people at the um older folks home that the mom is at and then she also teaches a poetry class to teenage girls which that turns into a whole different situation but basically the whole book is about mia's version of the pause so what she went through during the pause how she collected her thoughts you know all of that so the book basically ends with boris trying to get her back <laughs> that's basically the end of the book um personally i didn't really like the ending because it left with so many questions for me but isn't that how life goes like you always don't know so i thought that it was also a perfect ending but i as a reader like i hated the way it ended but I will say i did make a tiktok about this so if you want to hear it a little bit more in depth it's been like three weeks since i finished this book i'm reading something completely different which i can also show you guys in this vlog too but um yeah so the whole book it seemed for me at least like y'all know i'm only 23 so i can't even imagine living with somebody for 30 years baby like that don't even make no sense <laughs> but yeah so she's just in a completely different stage of life like she's a mom she's a professor she's you know going through this midlife situation that was just sprung upon her so a lot of the book i personally couldn't relate to so um and i don't think that this was a universal read because there's i i think that i'm a pretty proficient reader um but in this book there were a lot of times where i had to google what this word meant or she um goes back and forth in different languages sometimes very briefly not not too crazy but for me i had to go look that up and see what that meant and all of that so for me it just wasn't necessarily the most universal read and it wasn't um it just wasn't my favorite book per se i do like it i'm glad that i read it i don't know where i picked this up from but y'all know that um with me and books i don't keep on my books because y'all know i have a <laughs> crazy um book stash which i do plan on doing a full book tour soon um because baby <laughs> so many books i'm probably gonna have like two different parts of that because i have, I have an incredible amount of books um off topic but yeah this is one that i don't necessarily see me keeping um it was a good book but is it a book that changed my life no and i've been in a tendency to only keep books that make me feel that way so this one i will be selling to like half price books or donating somewhere i don't know child wherever it goes it won't be here <laughs> okay but yeah let me grab the book that i'm also reading now so that i can um show you guys that and y'all let me know if y'all want me to do like a full book review or if y'all are cool with it being in vlogs let me know all right y'all so this is the next book that i'm reading it's called nobody knows the trouble i've seen um it's about the emotional lives of black women and y'all i'm not far in this book at all um i haven't had a second to read all that much so i'm only on page 30 this book is a little little bit longer so this one's 233 pages which i wouldn't say it's a long book i think most books average about there it's not a crazy long book for me but just from what i've read so far it is very interesting it's written by a black woman she is a doctor that is the author her name is inger burnett ziegler and yeah so far so good this definitely gives me more textbook um type of situation not textbook like I, when i think a textbook it seems boring but um i have really good professors during college so um there's one in particular that i'm thinking about that i absolutely love and he always put us onto the best books and even though it was more educational it was also still entertaining i guess is the word i'm looking for and this reminds me of a book that he would pick so i do i'm really happy that i picked this up i picked this up from the little neighborhood bookstore down down you know the block and everything so i am excited to see this or i'm sorry i am excited to read this and see 
um, how I feel about it in the end. Um, Y'all know that, or I guess you guys don't know because I just started talking about books on my channel, but I like to go back and forth so that my mind sort of stays stim stimulated. So this last book that I read was purely fiction. And then I like to go in with something that's more educational, auto biography historical type of situation um just to sort of keep my mind going so i don't know for me personally i just don't like to read fiction books all the time because i feel like it also teaches me a way to um sort of have unrealistic expectations in the same way that tv does so like i love me a good love story okay i love a good love story and just in my experience and actuality i can't base my life off of characters in a movie even though i did i live my life as if i'm the main character in a book in a movie in a series and whatever but y'all get what i mean so i just um i'm really trying to check myself with my unrealistic expectations i do think that it's possible to find love that way and sometimes it does work but i also don't want to get my hopes up too high and then scare the person i'm talking to away child so yeah y'all that is basically what is new around here i finished the summer without men i'm starting or have started nobody knows the trouble i've seen my skin is flourishing and thriving um my living room art is up i got my little wall plant situation going on i do want to get a living plant for my living room um i think it needs some live greenery and it'll teach me how to take care of something because i always kill a plant so if you guys have a recommendation of what type of plant let me know down below i do want it to be potted and i do want it to be big on the side of my mirror so yeah that's our updates here today i know i said that i wasn't going to talk too long but here i am you already know the drill hey you guys <laughs> okay okay obviously y'all can tell by my excitement today is august 22nd and yeah yeah we hit a thousand <laughs> okay your girl is too excited i'm getting ready to um change out my work clothes because when i tell y'all just walked in the door picked up the camera because <laughs> i hit it around three o'clock today and of course i was at work get a um but i wanted to come and just say thank you guys so so much okay i shed a little tear i shed a tear yeah um I love you guys so so much like nobody compares to the family that we've built on youtube I absolutely love you guys like y'all really be riding and dying okay about me okay <laughs> and I just want y'all to know that I appreciate it of course there will be a giveaway I'm gonna talk about that sometime at some point later in this vlog Cheryl um but yeah I love you guys so so much I wanted to come through and just say thank you so much y'all know that I yeah I be saying the same thing 23 just trying to figure it out mm -hmm and um this is something that god placed on my heart and i i, I want to share my life i want to share my life and my experiences and all of that with y'all so i do and y'all know that it is only up from here okay <laughs> okay it is only up from here so i wanted to come through and say thank you guys this year um my youtube channel has taken off this year it has absolutely taken off and it's only august like there's still you know that that second half that you know really is when especially um beauty influencers like to see a lot of growth um but i got to see a lot of growth in the first half of the year so i'm very grateful um you guys have really 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 been interacting with my non-hair content and that like i said was one of the goals when i broke up with my ex-boyfriend um that was one of the goals that i really wanted to set for myself i said it earlier this year but like once we broke up i had more time to dedicate and pour into myself and into the channel and that was something that i really wanted to do and i'm so proud of myself for being able to make this happen chow so soon because i take i screenshot baby i screenshot everything so i will give you guys the screenshot of how many subscribers i was january 1st 2nd whatever that first one that i had from january i'll put it on this side here and then today like i said august 22nd we hit a thousand we're actually at a thousand and two <laughs> okay um so yeah i just i love you guys so 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 much and i'm so excited i love you like i just i just love you guys like i really do um it's it's up this weekend okay so um i do have a couple plans i'm off on thursday this week i do have an interview um mm -hmm, we need that 
so interview thursday i'll probably celebrate myself on thursday y'all know that i have been talking about wanting to you know celebrate and i did buy a bag y'all know i am the bag lady uh-huh so i did go ahead and buy me a bag um i'm gonna make myself a cake buy myself a thousand balloons like i'm, I'm very excited <laughs> okay I'm so so excited but yeah y'all I'm just rambling at this point I just wanted you guys to know that I'm so thankful that I love you guys so so much and how grateful I am so let's go get a margarita or two cheers to me hey you guys I am back today is Thursday and I just so happen to be off today I'm sorry y'all okay because this lash is good and y'all there is a hole in this set but my lash appointment is tomorrow <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come back and say, um, today was my little celebration day for myself. I'm off today. So let me tell y'all what I did y'all. And of course I went and spent some money because that's what I like to do. Okay. So the first thing that I got was my flowers. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I am a flower girl. One of my new year's resolutions was to buy myself flowers every time they die. I've, I've fallen off that because life has been life in <laughs> um life has been real ghetto but um so it's been about a month since i've had flowers so i went ahead and bought me a big bouquet of yellow flowers i think they're roses i'm not sure what kind they are but they're they're the little baby ones but they're absolutely beautiful they are a mood lifter i had an interview this morning mm, i don't know if it's the job for me per se but um to get back in the swing of interviewing was nice i did take myself out to lunch today and baby baby i've been trying to um convince myself to take myself to lunch um i don't know if it's just me but i have never ate out by myself um i've never been to the movies by myself i haven't even went to like panera to edit a video okay it just makes me so freaking uncomfortable because i feel like other people are looking at me meanwhile they're not paying me no mind and i y'all i really don't know what it is but it, it i was anxious walking into the restaurant by myself but it actually turned out to be um really nice and i did make a tiktok because i love a good tiktok and then after i left lunch I went and spent some money so y'all know that there's a shopping plaza near me it has a marshall's it has a tj maxx it has a bath and body works um there's a walmart over there child there's a bookstore so you know i went uh, i didn't go too crazy i, I spent less than a hundred dollars okay but before we get into it y'all i did want to buy myself balloons and i went to um our grocery store giant eagle i know that they're not everywhere um y'all have checked me in the comments about that before <laughs> um but i went there to get balloons and baby they don't do balloons no more like so where do where do the girls be getting balloons from i wanted a big thousand you know balloon situation i'm still probably gonna go look maybe at like a dollar tree or something because i know they blow up balloons there i didn't feel like doing it now because i still have to edit a video i'm kind of tired like i said i had an interview so not today but i am gonna get me some balloons like what like do the do the kids not like balloons no more like what about me so y'all the first place i went was barnes and noble right now they're having their 50 percent off sale on books um and i always want books and i did really really good at restraining myself i actually only got two books this time which i'm very proud of myself i should have picked up the billy porter book it's called um unprotected i believe is what it's called billy porter is from pittsburgh <laughs> which is where i'm from <laughs> um i really wanted to pick it up it was 50 percent off but i'm okay <laughs> like i gotta cut it with the books like y'all see all the books back there I, listen i've had a lot of comments about my books and I am going to give y'all a book tour, what I've read. I'm going to have to split it up though because I have a lot of books and I don't want y'all to get overwhelmed or bored. So, and because I have so many books, I need to actually read the books, baby. Because I, I at the speed that I buy books, I'm, we're not at the same rate as me finishing them. Okay? So, yeah. I only bought two. And it, granted, it was $24 for both of these. Mind you, they're both hardback covers. But let me tell you what they're called so this first one called nothing burns as bright as you um this is what the cover looks like um personally i buy books with black main characters 
um because i feel reflected i feel seen i feel we have similar experiences mm -hmm. okay um not to say that i don't read um books that are have white or um non-white main characters i just feel like i have i'm able to relate a bit more so y'all know that the last book that i read called the summer without men was about a middle-aged white woman and we're just we're just we live in two different worlds so for me i um have really been focusing on getting books that i'll be able to relate to instead of buying books that that may actually be really good books but i can't see myself as the main character and baby I, I, it's something about it i need to feel like i'm the main character for real for real <laughs> but yeah so nothing burns as bright as you from my understanding from the little um excerpt is that what it's called on the inside it is a book about two best friends they are both girls and um they're like attached at the hip and then one day something happens and everything changes from there um and they fall in love and i love a good love story okay so i am really excited to read this i absolutely love the color art i love that both of these books have orange in them and black black main characters yeah yeah oh and the author her name is ashley woodfolk and she is a black woman and then we have don't cry for me and this is by daniel black and he is also black okay and i've actually had this one in my cart for a hot little minute so let me um go ahead and let me show y'all the cover of art first before i get too excited I love it. I love both of the cover arts, but I love this. It's so simplistic and beautiful. Um, the hardback on this one is yellow, just regular yellow hardback. I like. I don't read it with the paper on. I don't have time for that. And then this one is black, and it has the gold writing, which I love that. And then I'll go ahead and read you this one because I don't remember. I had it in my cart and saw that it was on sale, and I was like, let's go ahead and pick it up. So it says, a black father makes amends with his gay son through letters written on his deathbed in his wise and penetrating novel of empathy and, per and forgiveness. As Jacob lies dying, he begins to write a letter to his only son, Isaac. They have not met or spoken in many years, and there are things that Isaac must know. Stories about his ancestral legacy in rural Arkansas that extends back to slavery. Secrets from Jacob, Jacob's tumultuous relationship with Isaac's mother and the shame he carries from the dis, dissolution of their family. Tragedies that inform Jacob's role as a father and his reaction to Isaac's being gay. But most of all, Jacob must share with Isaac the unspoken truths that reside in his heart. He must give voice to the trauma that Isaac has inherited, and he must create a space for the two to find peace. With piercing insight and profound empathy, acclaimed author Daniel Black illuminates the lived experiences of Black fathers and queer sons, offering an authentic and ultimately hopeful portrait of reckoning and reconciliation. Spare as it is sweeping, poetic as it is compulsively readable, Don't Cry For Me is a monumental novel about one family grappling with love's hard edges and the unexpected places where hope and healing take flight. Baby! Yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited to read these two books. Um, Y'all, I've been absolutely loving TikTok and um i do book reviews on there i usually include my books and vlogs as a late on here y'all know i'm just really getting back into books and reading and everything so let me know if y'all want like in-depth full book reviews on here or if y'all are cool with me um doing them on tiktok you know let me know because i i just be trying stuff you know but then of course I went to TJ Maxx. Personally, I like TJ Maxx better than Marshalls. Um, I, it really depends on location, but today I went to TJ Maxx, okay? And I usually look at the entire store. Um, I love to buy things for my house now, which makes me feel old, but I do. I love to buy things for my house. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and bought this bath rug. And y'all, can we get into the color first of all? It is this like bluish color. I'm not sure if it's coming up the same way on uh, camera, but it's like this <sighs> subdued blue. I don't know, but y'all, it is UG.
it's okay y'all that's the true color coming up now it is a ugh bath mat and y'all it's so soft and it was only $19.99 so I went ahead and picked it up I have a white shower curtain as well I have two shower curtains but um the one I'll probably pair with that is white so I'm really excited to put that up I think I'll put that up probably once it starts to get a little cooler I have my pink one and my white stuff out right now so it's still giving me a little bit of summer and baby I'm holding on to the rest of summer okay and then um candles yeah yeah y'all know i love me a good candle i do include them on my vlogs here i've done a couple tiktoks on candles like i just love candles so i picked up this one and it is from dw home and it is in the scent magic so that's what it looks like and honestly the packaging sent me <laughs> and it's just a white candle on the inside it does smell really really good to me i i'm here for the scent <laughs> so let me see if i can find the notes um so y'all it doesn't have the notes of what this smells like on here it just says magic scented candle um i don't have the best nose baby girl i don't it smells clean and it has a bit of a floral undertone that's what i could give y'all if i can find out what the actual notes are i'll of course put a pop-up on the screen but honestly the packaging sent me and it smelled good so i was like yeah let's get into it also y'all i did the little claw clip style and i do think it's kind of cute i wish my hair was more curly and more full in the back because it's not it's an old braid out so it's just tangling around each other at this point but um i'm washing my hair in two days so I ain't even gonna worry about it oh and this candle was $7.99 and it is um 9.3 ounces and it has a burn time of 33 hours and then I did get another candle this one is from Sensational and it's in a scent called Falling Leaves and it is a wood wick candle which are supposed to be better for the environment for your apartments for your walls all of those that's what this one looks like and it was also $7.99 I love the wood lid on this one and then there's the wood wick um that I told you guys about I only have one or two other wood wick candles but I do like them and I feel like they last longer so this one it says aromatic leaves pine cone and patchouli over green apple aromatic fir fir f-i-r not sure how you say that um, citrus and warm woodland spices it smells really really good to me this one's 11 ounces and I can guarantee you guys that as soon as fall hits this is gonna be my staple candle because it smells clean but it also does give you that folly warmer type of scent all right y'all only two more things I feel like I've been talking fab ever but I went ahead and picked up this little champion shirt it's really really cute um, I have a champion hoodie but I don't know it's blue I don't really have nothing to wear with it like mm. so I picked this up because I have a pair of shoes that um I think would look really cute with it it was only $12.99 from the men's section make sure you look at the men's section for graphic tees because that's where I get all of mine I did go ahead and pick up um some champion socks the high socks have been coming back they've been making a play and I think they look cute with certain outfits so I went ahead and picked these up it is a um what three pack oh it's six pairs which is really really good to me i thought and it's 7.99 i have tiny feet so i got the small size and then the last thing i picked up from marshall's was baby they had the pattern beauty scalp serum and it says it is going to invigorate and cool your hair or, or your scalp i'm sorry and i plan to solely use this on my scalp so y'all know i'm about to start using products with silicones but i still want to go in on my scalp with a oil that doesn't have silicones and I think that this will be perfect y'all know that I have dry itchy scalp so this is really going to be a play for me um originally these are pretty pricey I want to say they're like $20 or something okay so on according to the sticker on here they're originally $25 there's hell will freeze over before I pay $25 for a four ounce oil um I, I don't I I know that Sable from, uh, I don't remember her YouTube name off the top of my head, but I'll post a pop-up and I know for sure her name is Sable. Um, 
Curls of a CPA. That's her YouTube. Curls of a CPA. She tried this, and I remember her really, really, really liking it. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up off that sole thing. Um, it was twelve dollars, which even twelve dollars for a four ounce oil, I feel like is a bit of a splurge. Um, so, but I was celebrating myself today, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and I've only heard good things about it, so I am excited to give it a try. And then, y'all, I got a package delivered to my house. I did order a bag. Yeah, I did order a bag as well. Y'all know I am the bag lady. Q Erica Badu. Um, I love a good purse. So I did order that, and that'll probably be the last thing I order. I may be going to New York to visit one of my friends for Labor Day, so we'll see about that because I'm just spending money like I gotta like it. <laughs> um, but what I have in this package here is actually stuff for my um, water container situation. So y'all already know about Brita, but I have a Life Straw, and I actually found out about them through TikTok, and they're better than. Um, Brita like they protect against more stuff that shouldn't even be in our water <laughs> um so I went ahead I picked up the replacement filter you're supposed to buy these once a year I'm not at the one year mark but I did sign up for the bi-monthly um filter situation so basically you pay ten dollars every two months get a new filter so you don't have to worry about making sure that you're going ahead and ordering one I'm gonna be honest y'all I'm a dirtball I haven't ordered a new filter since I moved in February <laughs> I should have had like three filters by now but I haven't so I went ahead and signed up for it so that I make sure that I'm drinking um as clean as water as possible but yeah y'all that is what I bought today um that is my little haul situation but yeah y'all so i'm about to edit my video for tomorrow i'll probably just sit here and read my book a little bit it's a really really nice day outside as y'all can tell because the sun's glistening listen i low-key love filming right here okay i feel i feel my skin is giving it's just it's giving light like i'm using natural light i don't have no lights on baby um it's just giving it's really giving so I'm probably going to put this stuff back in the bag <laughs> until I feel like putting it away because it's not going to be right now. So like I said, I think I'm going to just read a chapter of my book. I'm going to turn on some, you know, lo-fi vibes, give myself the little vibe, light a candle. And then um, after I read a chapter or so, I guess I'll start reading my, or I guess I'll start editing my video. That shouldn't take me too long. I think I'm going to take a bath today. It's been a hot little minute since I took a bath because it's been so hot outside. So I think I'm going to just turn my air on and take a bath today. So I'll probably bring you guys along for that as well. But um, yeah, so I'll probably end this vlog on like Sunday. Tomorrow's Friday. I do um, have to work. Ugh. And then I have my lash appointment after that. Saturday, I have to work. And then I get my wax. Y'all know I get my wax <laughs> on time, baby. On time, every time. And I'm actually having lunch with one of my professors who I absolutely love, okay? Um, and then after that, I'm coming home and filming and I'll probably be chilling for the rest of the weekend. So yeah, y'all, um, I'll see you guys whenever I pick the camera up next. Hey you guys, so I am back and oh my God, it's been, and oh my God, y'all, it's been so long since I picked up the camera again. So forgive me for that, but y'all, it's time to talk giveaway rules details all of that all of that all of that so i am going to have not one but two separate giveaways and two separate prizes so you guys will be entered to win a 50 dollars sally's gift card or a 50 dollar amazon gift card so um i decided to do two because we hit a thousand and i feel like we need to just go ahead and do it big so that's what we're doing so for the first giveaway it is going to be on my youtube channel that's going to be the sally's gift card my channel up until this year has been primary primarily hair content um so i figure what a better way to celebrate than a sally's gift card because y'all know i love i'm a sally's girl okay so in order to win this is open to anyone i'm gonna do like e-gift cards so we don't have to worry about shipping or nothing i'm gonna just email them right on over to you so this is open to anybody who is subscribed to me so here are the rules for YouTube the YouTube giveaway and you're also open to enter into both giveaways of course 
So for the YouTube giveaway and the Sally's gift card, you will simply have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to like this video, and you have to comment down below something that you would like to see me do on this channel, whether it is a certain hair product that you want to see me try, whether it's you want to see me vlog, something in particular, um, you want to see more shower routines and you have a certain theme that you want to do or product that you want me to try, that is the only giveaway rules here. So you have to be subscribed, you have to like this video and comment down a video idea from me down below. Easy, okay? And then for Instagram, I am going to have a giveaway on there and that's for that Amazon gift card. So I will post the pop-up of the picture that you need to comment under. And for the Instagram giveaway, it's the same thing. You need to be, you need to follow me on Instagram. You'll need to follow me on YouTube. You'll need to like the post. And then you will need to comment. You'll need to comment a video idea that you want to see me do on Instagram or on Instagram. So it could be like an Instagram reel or TikTok. So those are the two giveaway rules. So for Inst for YouTube, it's simple. Subscribe, like the video, leave me a video idea below. For Instagram, you're going to comment under the post and you're going to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. You're going to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You are going to like the post and then leave a video idea. So simple, easy, and to the point. And listen, we are going to leave this giveaway open for one week. So, so my giveaway will be open on September 9th of 2022 and it will close on September 16th. 2022 at six o'clock six o'clock okay six o'clock so definitely y'all go ahead and um make sure y'all have all of that make sure you enter into both giveaways of course because double the chances okay but y'all this video has drawn out literally for like over a week i think we're at um like a thousand and forty now <laughs> So it's definitely long overdue for me to post this giveaway video. Um, but yeah, y'all, that is the end of this video. Again, thank you guys so, 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 so much for a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So let me get up off y'all, y'all screens. I love you guys so much. Make sure you go ahead into the giveaway. Let me know, comment down your video ideas and everything because I love to see what y'all want to see from me. But I will see you in my next one. Bye.